Good morning guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you guys so much for joining me. If you're new here, my name's Holly. I make food and fitness content and if you're not new here, welcome back to the YouTube channel guys. So this week's video, I am bringing the vibes. The vibes are coming this week. I feel like I'm just feeling like a bit brighter this week. So I just really wanna bring as much energy to YouTube as possible because you guys have seen me cry far too many times recently. So today we are gonna be doing a full day of food. I am currently in a stage where I want to grow a bit of muscle. Growing a bit of muscle equals more food and more proteins. So today I'm gonna to be showing you exactly what I'm eating with the aim of growing my glutes, growing my back muscles, growing my biceps, growing my quads, growing everything. Because we're really trying to get strong. That is the aim of the game here. So this is everything that I'm eating in order to do that. I'm in a calorie surplus now and I'm also eating a high amount of protein. I'm gonna go into more detail on like exactly how I'm kind of training to do that as well later on in the video. And I'll do like a mini progress update with you guys because you guys would have seen I did my checking photos and my measurements this morning and we have had some changes. Yeah, I'll go through all of that, but I think it's quite early right now. So I'm gonna sit down, have my morning coffee, read my book. We're then gonna get ready and we're doing a double training day today. Mm that's just how I feel about that. That, that sound summarizes how I feel about that. I literally have such a jam-packed week. I started the week in Kent. I'm ending the week in London. So I have a very condensed amount of time to get all my sessions in this week. Therefore, I've decided to combine a strength session with a running session and... So yeah, that is basically the agenda for today. Hopefully you're still watching and hopefully you're still equally as excited. I've got ready for the gym now. We are going to have some protein oats. Usually, if I was just doing a weight training session, I think I'd probably just have like a squares bar. However, because I am doing a double session, which involves running, I need <laughs> a bit more energy than that. So basically what I'm gonna do is have my protein oats now that I would usually have post-workout, pre-workout. If you guys saw my video the other week, you would have witnessed me becoming a protein oats girly. And I've been eating these oats every single day since. I don't know why I was ever like sleeping on them but essentially what we're going to be doing is 50 grams of oats and then we're going to be putting 20 grams of my protein protein powder then we're going to add a little bit of fake biscoff this is the crunchy one from aldi and just a little bit of fruit on the top two sessions then we actually have to pack like multiple things because obviously I can't run in the gym trainers so we're gonna have to pack my gym trainers I'm gonna have to find myself a sports bra that I can change into because as much as I love this sports bra I feel like for running it's not gonna be the best but a sports bra socks for running as well I think that'll be everything and I just need to take you with me headphones always helps but apart from that I think we're good to go. Okay, so we've just got to the gym. Guys, I am actually gonna invest in a mic so I can do more like mic'd up workouts because I actually hate like working out in silence and just putting music over them. Like I feel like I just wanna still chat to you guys while I work out. So today we are doing, first up, we're doing full body session from the SGS Half Marathon Guide. So we're starting off with some squats, going into some arm movements, and then we're gonna throw on the run at the end. But I'll talk to you about that when we get to that point.
Saturday. So we are doing a five kilometer run followed by sprints. Followed by sprints. How many sprints do we need to do? Six. Six 30 second sprints. changed after the gym. I have had a little shower, a little refresh. I actually have like 15 minutes until I have therapy. So normally I do therapy trio Tuesdays, but we've moved it to Thursday. So we're doing a therapy trio Thursday. So we've had free therapy. We've gone to the gym and done a run. And now we're going to have paid therapy with my therapist and then go and get a coffee afterwards. But I don't really have much time and I really wanted to have a bagel and eggs, but I don't have any bagels. And my eggs are out of date. So I'm going to have a wafer now and then we'll do a little pick up when we go pick up a coffee. So then we'll have bagel and eggs later, which is fine. I just, you know, when you have something in your mind, you just really, really want it. But we're just going to have a wafer that will me through. So yeah, I'm just gonna have this and then I'll check in with you guys post therapy for a little coffee date. So I just finished therapy. Definitely feel like I need a bit of a walk and a bit of a decompress after that one. So I'm gonna head to Loaf, which is nearby, a little coffee shop, and then go and grab some bagels and eggs. So the weather is actually so nice. I've just decided to like sit outside. I'm actually feel like I'm gonna get a bit burnt, but I'm just gonna sit outside and have my coffee. I don't know when the hell it became like 25 degrees in England. Like when did that happen? Like I literally have, can you see this red patch on my top? That from walking to be fair, it was actually really nice to just like sit in the sun. I can't remember the last time like I've gone and done that in England, but I was just sat there like, hmm. And then I remember I didn't have any SPF on, so I came inside. After all that, I didn't get any eggs. I'm gonna do a tuna bagel instead because I feel like it's just, it's three o'clock now. We have a limited time to cram three meals and one snack in. So I'm gonna get the bagel on the go, have that. And then literally in like an hour, or two and make meal number three. Right, let's talk fitness goals. So I did actually delve a little bit deeper into kind of my like fitness and physique goals last week. So I'm not going to go too into depth about those. I'm more going to talk about kind of like the roadmap of how I'm going to achieve what I want to achieve. In a nutshell, essentially my goals at the moment are I'm currently training for my next half marathon. And I'm also, as I mentioned earlier on in the video, trying to grow a bit of muscle, trying to increase my strength and just feel generally really strong in my body. And I feel like a lot of people kind of be like, okay, but you're trying a long distance run and you're also trying to grow muscle and those two things won't necessarily work together however you can definitely do both and I definitely did both when I was training for the marathon earlier in the year which sounds strange because I kind of thought running a marathon I would probably see my body really lean out but that definitely wasn't the case I was able to feel myself properly and I saw such big increases in my strength in my muscle mass on my body and in my running ability as well and that was probably the point where I felt like the most strong and confident in my body and that is essentially what I'm trying to get back to and I'm trying to aim for at the moment. So the key for that was fuel. So fueling my body is a massive focus for me at the moment. Calorie wise, I'm eating 2,200 calories. This has actually been ramped up from 2,000 the week before. I kind of realized that with the amount of exercise that I'm doing and the amount of energy that I'm expending, 2,000 calories would probably mean that I was still sat in a deficit. So we've kicked them up to 2,200 this week and I'm going to keep track of everything with those probably for like a week or two and then assess based on that. But the likelihood is they will probably go up again at some point. In order to track my progress and kind of like assess how things are going, like I just mentioned, I am going to be doing weekly check-in. So I'm going to pop my check-in photos for you guys here because I feel like I've not done like a physique check-in in ages. And I usually base these off photos. Photos are the best way because you can really see changes week by week. I'm also going to be taking measurements. So glute measurements, thigh measurements, bicep measurements, and waist measurements, and then scale weight for as long as 
as I feel it's necessary until I basically decide and probably get bored of it, which will probably be within four weeks because I feel like that always happens. And then fitness wise, exercise wise, I am currently following my Strong Girl Society half marathon plan. I'm week eight into this. So we've got a few more weeks to go before the actual half marathon. That plan consists of three runs a week and two strength sessions. Those strength sessions are full body and then three runs alternate between long runs, short runs, tempo runs, any form of run that you can probably think of is in that guide i am loving that i feel like i've seen such amazing results anyway especially my running ability like i feel like my running ability and my fitness has literally shot through the roof recently which feels really good because again like that's enabling me to feel super like strong in my body and then on top of that i am actually doing one additional session a week which is a pt session so i have basically started training in the past two weeks with rick who is a manchester based pt and we are doing a glute focus session every single week and the reason that I kind of wanted to reach out and have a PT's help is basically I find that I don't really push myself hard enough on like days in the gym. I am a little bit of a wuss when it comes to like loading the weight on and I definitely hold myself back. I don't push myself hard enough. So I basically felt like I needed someone who was going to really push me and help me lift some really heavy weights. And we've been doing that already. I hit 130 on a hip thrust last week for the first time ever. So I'm already like smashing PBs and I've literally been with him for two weeks. And he is also really good at kind of like helping me ramp up my calories. I think it can be a bit of a daunting thing being in control of your own calories increasing your calories kind of goes against like all of those like toxic dieting ideas that you have in your head so having him kind of be like no you need to be eating more is just really helping kind of like push me on so yeah i'm going to be doing one session with him a week so those are my six sessions that i'm going to be completing every single week that are hopefully gonna lead me on a roadmap to my goals so speaking of food and fuel i'm actually going to go off and make meal number three of the day we're going to have a like chicken teriyaki rice dish this one is honestly it's so easy to make it is on my instagram so i'm going to leave the little reel here and i'll leave the link in the bio but obviously i'll show you guys some of the steps as we go through say this is such a good example of like an unesthetic but like incredible meal i'm gonna insert the picture of when the first time i made it and i made it for instagram and i put like spring onions on the top and i put a little more effort into the presentation because this just isn't like doing bits right now as a dish this has 43 grams of protein in it's 400 calories and then i've added in loads of like frozen veg and this is if you're on a calorie deficit calorie surplus such a good meal to have because there's so much volume in it it's so filling even though my calories have increased at the moment i feel like the more i'm eating the hungrier i'm getting so this is just good for me at this point in the day because this is when I start to get like super snacky so it's gonna keep me full until dinner time it is finally dinner time i've been looking forward to this all day we're literally gonna do like a homemade okay it's not all homemade we're gonna do burger and chips but we're gonna do like homemade chips with some wedges we're just gonna chuck them in an the air fryer let the air fryer do its job they'll come out nice and crispy just using these lean beef burgers from aldi i'm obsessed with these chuck them in a burger bun a little bit of salad a little bit of cheese and that is us done with meal number four Which is it in the air fryer? I normally cook them for like half an hour. I am lazy. So sometimes if I take them out and they're not quite cooked, but I'm really hungry and I really can't be able to put them back in, I will just eat them slightly raw. So with the increase in calories, obviously my carbs have gone up as well. So my carb goal for the day is 290 grams, but I'm not actually gonna hit that today. I'm only gonna hit 240. I'm gonna stick the summer ice cream pretty on. Guys, I'm just hooked. Like I'm so invested in this like 18 year old love triangle. And that is literally how I spend my evenings at the moment. I sit down, I shut all the blinds and I watch the summer ice cream pretty. And you know what? I wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> I literally feel like a little kid. I'm so excited to eat this. Oh my goodness. Look, I put some peri salt on the wedges. Mm. Okay, we're on to final snacks of the evening. So I'm gonna have a protein mousse. These are the Aldi ones. I have 20 grams of protein in and then a pack of party rings. And then that is me done for the day, guys. Food consumed day done. So we'll do a little roundup of everything. Today I have hit <coughs> 
2,159 calories. That is 176 grams of protein, 242 grams of carbs, and 49 grams of fat. The thing that I love about today is like, it's been very simple meals. Like I love cooking, but I love cooking even more when it's like a very simple, easy, tasty, high protein meal. So I feel like hopefully today has given you guys some inspiration. And on that note, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have liked this week's video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next week.